Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on this episode, I'm gonna show you one of the key pieces of structure you have to keep your eye out for, especially on shallow fisheries, you know, um, lakes that, that you know, you're primarily fishing 12 foot or less, you know. Um, but this is gonna apply to pretty much all fisheries. It's just one thing that I really look for on shallow fisheries, and that is long tapering points on the main lake. Long tapering points on main lake areas are really, really killer, especially on shallow fisheries. They're, they're still gonna be a killer on, on deep fisheries, but on shallow fisheries, for whatever reason, the fish just really seem to hang around them and, and really group up pretty strong during the summer months. So today, I haven't even fished this structure today, I promise. Um, we've got this long tapering point out here, and one of the reasons why I'm denoting uh, you know, shallow fisheries is because usually the shallow fisheries have, um, you know, the depth range that's suitable for um, having some type of vegetation growing on these long points. So like this one right here, we've got this long tapering point. You can kind of see some of the wood that's way out here. Um, I've caught fish on this point before. I just haven't fished it during the summer. And, uh, and I can already see there's some grass growing on it. And so what I'm gonna do, because I know it's like two foot of water on top of that point, and there's some grass, is I'm gonna throw this chatterbait. This is the new Z-Man uh, Chatterbait Elite Evo. Uh, and I'm just gonna just cover water. Just tr try to fish the side of the point, the tip of the point, and figure out where these fish are holding. And I think it's gonna work because we've got a nice breeze, which is really gonna activate those fish, turn up the water, get those bait fish moving, and the, I think the bass are gonna be pretty aggressive. So let's get up to this point, see if I'm right. There might not be anything on there. We'll find out. Oh man, I, I do think that there's gonna be some fish on this point. I mean, and, and one of the reasons why I'm pretty confident about it is the fact that we do have this nice stiff breeze coming over this, this point, you know? And whenever you got a, a long tapering point, uh, a, a little bit of a breeze is good. I mean, if you get, if it's too shallow and you've got a huge wind, like that's really moving, uh, you know, dirtying up the water and stuff, there's like a point where, uh, you know, the wind's too much for points like this, you know, that are in real shallow water. But this breeze right here that we've got is just perfect. I mean, you don't have big rollers rolling over the point. It's just this nice ripple. And I can see a, a nice, real nice grass edge up here. I think it's gonna work out pretty good. All right, here we are. We got some beautiful grass going on. It grows in this nice defined edge, which is nice. And I kind of feel like, I'm sure that there's some on this, this leeward side, but the windward side of this point, I think is probably gonna be the, the best part of the point but we'll find out this beautiful weed edge that really borders this, this point. Another way to, to catch these fish that can be really good, and not in this scenario, because we got too much grass, it would just foul up too much, but a walking topwater bait is gonna be an excellent choice on shallower points, especially if they don't have a lot of grass, they're just kinda, you know, bare. You know, any you can fish a walking topwater bait where it's not gonna foul all the time is gonna be good. There's fish, little guy. Getting towards the, the tip of the point there. That's pretty typical. You know, there's always gonna be sweet spots on the point. There may be multiple, there may be just one, 
but um, you know, always pay attention to those sweet spots. In fact, we're gonna put it on anchor mode here on the ghost and make a few more casts. But you know, if I was just guessing prior to coming up to this point, there was another fish right there. Um, the point, the very tip of the point is gonna be, you know, one of the areas I would, I would think there would be fish. There he is, there he is. Another little one. All right, so textbook, right at the tip of the point. But there's not always gonna be just one school. Sometimes there's, there's different groups. You know, there may be a little patch of grass on the side of a point that the fish are holding on, or a brush pile, or, or a little patch of rocks or something like that. So, you know, really, once you find a point you start getting bites on, once you stop getting bites on that one spot that you, you initially caught them at, really explore the point and try different techniques, you know, and, and bottom bouncing techniques can be really good too, to drag on that point to find little sweet spots where maybe there's like a hard spot, like a little, you know, shell bed or something like that. Um, you know, exploring the whole thing and finding all those little sweet spots is real important. point is loaded with small fish right now i'm sure there's some bigger fish on there there's got to be bigger fish than that <laughs> gotta be there he is slightly better fish man i knew if we came over here with this little bit of breeze, you know, I, from afar, I was actually flipping some flooded timber and uh, I saw this point had this beautiful, like ring of grass around it. And I was like, yeah, that's gotta hold them. And then with the breeze, it's like perfect. But you know, summertime is like the perfect time to fish these main lake long tapering points. It's it's and it's one of those types of structure like they're gonna hold fish you know they may be highly pressured like some of these long tapering points are pretty pretty obvious to anglers so they may get extra pressure but they're gonna hold fish and so you just got to figure out you know how to catch those fish and the timing that's a better one that's a better one. Oh, he just hit it really hard This lake in particular, man, it's it's loaded with these one pound class fish. That's all right, they're fun to, fun to catch. You know, and I'm fishing a chatterbay on this point strictly because of the wind and the uh, fact that we've got grass on it. But again, really use a diverse, um, you know, list of, of techniques, you know, everything from bottom bouncing and dragging techniques like a Carolina rig or, or shaky head to, you know, fast moving baits like the chatter bait, like a crank bait, uh, like a top water walking bait, things like that. Really important to just kind of, you know, try different parts of the point and try different baits. There he is. They are loaded on this point. I promise guys, I haven't fished this, this exact point in a couple months. <laughs> I haven't fished it actually since the spawn. So it wasn't like I knew that they were there because I caught them, you know, earlier than that in the day or last week or something like that. I, I have not been out here. I just knew timing's right. And this is this type of structure man is like one of the most predictable types of structure in bass fishing during the summertime in my book no doesn't look like the windblown side is the is the key it seems like the tip 
but you know that makes sense too because the tip is where the the wind is blowing right over it you know and that's that's really where the bait fish are going to congregate because they're going to get pushed into the 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 rest of this point you know where this weed edge grows and they're just going to fall that weed edge out to the tip of the point and so everything's going to be more condensed there so anyways guys i just wanted to uh, show you guys one of the best types of bass structure during the summer months you know long tapering points and you know i'm going to kind of retract my statement from the very beginning uh, where i'm talking about just shallow fisheries long tapering points are very effective on any different type of reservoir so if you're looking for and even natural lakes sometimes uh, long tapering points if there is one naturally occurring um, can be very very good so if you're looking for something to fish on your lake this summer definitely look for long tapering points that take a long time to just you know dive out into the middle of the lake and uh, that are positioned on more main lake type areas but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy this content make sure that you hit that subscribe button and like and share this content that is a great way to support this channel and keep me motivated keep doing videos like this so thank you very much all the products that i use today are going to be in the description below that's another way you can support the channel is by using those affiliate links and other than that make sure you trust the process i'm going to see you out on the water